The new technology are going to have a major influence on the way salespeople are approaching their customers. Today, when you enter in a store, uh, you are able to give a profile of the customer uh, because we know by his tracking records if he loves uh, this type of product compared to another type of product, is he interested by uh, modernity or more traditional, is he interested by what type of price bracket. And CRM is a great tool as long as you make it a personal, uh, personal tool and not uh, a huge opportunity to send uh, these uh, useless messages that you are receiving on your mailbox every day, which are things you put in the garbage. So we have to be different by the quality of service and the quality of concept, by its differentiation. And I think that in the hospitality business, the only question which is valid, how can you go the extra mile compared to what exists? What are the standards of an industry? Number one, what is your envy about? Are you interested by uh, hotels? Are you interested by cars? Are you interested by uh, electronics? What is the industry where you feel good? Uh, that's motivation. The second one is what are the sectors which in the next 10 years are going to have the biggest number of opportunities? It can be sectors, can be countries. Uh, sometimes you have uh, a good industry in a, in, in a mature country and you can have a good industry in a new developed countries which are creating a lot of opportunities. When you build a business, it's a long lasting race. It's not something you are doing for the next six months. If you really want to make it a success on something which motivates you, it can be a, a full year investment. It can be also a business that you are going to give to your kids. Uh, so better think it twice before you invest your time and your resources financially before you start an operation. The more uh, you see uncertainty in the world, the more it creates a lot of business opportunities, especially with the breakthrough of technology, which is creating a lot of opportunities for new services. And you see many countries like the US, like Asia, which are very much advanced in many concepts when it comes to service, uh, which can be applied in other countries. You need to take a risk. We're in businesses where <clears throat> what is nice, what is not nice, what can be a success one day and not a success the next day. It's very dependent on the times, on many ingredients which are not granted, on which are valid in 2016 and perhaps not in 17. And uh, you have to be very agile, very able to react quickly, uh, very humble, because you can be right on Monday and very wrong with the same idea on Friday. There is an African proverb which says for people who are running, if you want to run fast, run alone. If you want to run a long distance, run in a team. And I think that it's very valid for entrepreneurs. If you want to build a business which will take you years to build and make it successful, you better make sure you don't run alone. Because if you want to run alone, you can be very fast. But if you want to have some pleasure to build something, you better make sure you run with a team. And being a, in a school which is very international with a hundred different nationalities, it is this capacity of each student to understand, appreciate the strengths of each and everybody. Women have got a growing influence effect in our businesses. First of all, because luxury sells first to women. If you want to sell to women, you better make sure you have strong women in our teams. Uh, uh, we have a marketing director who is a woman in our management team. We have our HR director who is a woman. And we have a couple of women who are also at the head of operations uh, around the world. 
have in Switzerland our headquarters where we have all the uh, manufacturing capacities, the marketing, the uh, central sales, uh, HR, IT, finance, <coughs> you name it. But we have a growing importance of our business in the US, in uh, China, in Hong Kong, in Japan, in Middle East, and you name it. So we are looking also a lot of these entrepreneurs in our subsidiaries who can drive our business in Japan successfully, in Korea successfully, in Dubai successfully. You have the guidelines coming from our headquarters, but you need to have people locally who are going to implement them, who are going to be on the playground. So we need to get people who are very entrepreneurs, who understand the complexity of a brand strategy on local operations to make it successful, provided that there is only one criteria at the end which counts to measure a success or a failure its sales results. Your social intelligence is something you don't learn in books. It's something you learn by doing mistakes, by understanding the strengths of being with others, or not counting only on your strengths, despite its natural habits, we believe that we can do it better than the others. Um, and this social intelligence is probably one of the major assets of your students to be absorbed and recognized as a key value.